in three, two, one. And there it goes. Just like that, the eastern span of the Tappan Zee Bridge is gone. It's the dawning of a new era for around here. Within seconds, about 10 minutes to 11, an igniter spark flashes across the 672 foot long structure, followed by explosions, which could be seen and felt from many angles. Tim Plunkett among the large crowd braving the cold to watch history unfold. My father walked across the first bridge when it was built, and uh, so it's sort of a multi generational connection for a lot of us. The bridge is a part of everybody in this area's life. At some point, you've been over it, and you'll never forget the traffic. Speaking of traffic, there were some delays. Police shut down part of the throughway and the new Mario Cuomo Bridge for about an hour while taking down the adjacent steel hunk. This process was postponed from the weekend due to heavy winds, but it didn't stop the show from going on. What's the most exciting part about today? I don't know. I guess it's just the fact that it's happening at all. I mean, the fact that they couldn't take it down, it became structurally unsafe and they have to do it this way. A demolition team was brought in to lower the structure, and when it landed in the water, the top still remained visible. There's a special net underneath it to help remove what's left. It's a big boom. You know, who doesn't want to see a big boom? Teresa Akimpora's mother sure did, bringing in her birthday with a bang. Today's my 83rd birthday. A pretty historic birthday for you, huh? Yes, yeah, so it really is. So we just decided to do it. We've got to figure out something for next year now. <laughs> Again, if you felt the boom, now you know what it was. Now, as for the western span that is still here, uh, engineers say it will eventually be dismantled without explosives, piece by piece. So in a few months, the entire old structure will be gone. We're live in Irvington, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Okay.